particle system is one of the interesting aspects of Blender. Particles Link add-on can help you connect particles inside Blender. Today I'm going to show you how to use Particles Link add-on to connect your particles. After installing the Particles Link add-on, you will find it in the end panel under the IKPL panel. But first we need to have some particles. I will use the default cube to generate particles. I'll go to the particles tab and press the plus button and press play to check it out. Cool. I leave the particles default settings for now. Now if I select my cube, you notice that the link active button is now activated. Once I press it, it starts linking the generated particles. Now let's play around with the settings. Under link settings, you will find two graph modes. The flow line is the default one and you can change it to the network one, which I'll get back to later. First, let me select the default cube to decrease the number of particles to see things better. By default, each particle is connected to its successor according to their birth date. So the first one is connected to the second one generated and so on. There are two other options for linking the particles. We can have either distance or shortest. But first let me add a new empty to the scene and select my particles and select distance and select the empty. Now when I press play the particles behave differently. So let me pause here. The linking starts from the nearest particle to the object and proceeds to the next particle according to its distance from the empty object. Whenever I choose the shortest instead and refresh, it still starts by the nearest particle to the empty, but it proceeds to the next particle according to the shortest route. When I change the graph mode to network, Every particle is connected via more links, which can be controlled easily by the distance and the number of branches. The more I increase these two uh, values, the more dense it becomes. Let's go back to the flow line mode and explore the geometry section. Here I can change the interpolation method between the particles curves to vector which converts the links into straight lines. Let me change it back to automatic. And I can increase the resolution of the curves to 10 to make it more smooth and I can give some thickness to the curves by changing the thickness value to 0.4 the add-on gives me more control over the curve thickness along the path I can change it to be more thick at the beginnings and decreasing to zero along the path. Let me refresh here. I can change the links profile to any custom profile by adding a new curve object and select it from the geometry. Let me select my particles first and select from the bevel section. I can find the Bezier curve circle I have just added here and it changes the links profile to the circle profile. Let me scale it down a bit. Press tab for edit mode and S to scale. And here we go. 
let me press play also I can control the clip start and clip finish via these two sliders this one controls the start and this one controls the finish point once I'm happy with the final animation I can start baking it to make it ready for rendering so press in the baking area press bake and wait it to complete baking then make sure the baked object is selected and go to the modifiers tab and make sure to uncheck the override frame so it renders correctly and this wraps things up for today the particles link add-on expands the particles limits to give you more control over them if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments section and see you in the next tutorial